right, we just uh, heard those important reactions that are coming right after this implosion that has taken place. Uh, we heard the Noida Authority CEO at the moment who was uh, actually taking stock of the situation right after that implosion has taken place. We also had the Noida Police Commissioner who also said that right now things have gone as planned. My colleague Siddhant is also with me on the broadcast uh, to take us through all that has happened ever since this implosion at 2.30 that has taken place. Siddhant, do we know has it gone as planned or we are yet to ascertain about the safety of the buildings that were in the vicinity of the once standing Twin Towers, the Supertech Twin Towers? Well, yes, uh, that's right, uh, Greha. Uh, we were listening to Alok Singh, Commissioner of Police, Noida, and Ritu Maheshwari, CEO of, uh, of Noida Authority. So these two top bureaucrats have assured uh, that largely there has been no damage. And in fact, uh, there are some teams which are already on ground zero, and I can see the convoy of the senior officials of uh, Noida, uh, uh, Noida district heading to the ground zero. Now, uh, we have been told that at around 6.30, uh, the residents will be allowed to come back to their apartment. Uh, the gas pipeline, uh, gas, will, uh, gas supply will be restored, and, uh, and, and uh, once the inspection will be over. Now, right now, uh, the blasters are inspecting the site, uh, the other technicians are inspecting the site. The senior officials are uh, going to the site to take stock of the situation, to speak to the blasters. Has there been any damage that has, that has happened? Or is it completely safe for the residents to get inside? Uh, but largely, largely we have been told that, uh, uh, that uh, everything was controlled and, uh, and no damage has occurred. Uh, there was a uh, dust cloud which we could see, which was uh, uh, up to uh, up to few meters in the sky. But uh, but in few minutes only, with the help of sprinklers, water uh, water tankers, and in fact the anti smog guns. Uh, in fact, that dust was uh, the dust cloud was also uh, uh, diminished. All right, Sudhant, so, uh, I'm sorry I'd interrupt you there for a bit. Let me quickly play out those reactions of the Noida top cop, the police commissioner, and also the Noida authority CEO. Let's listen into what they have said once again. I'll come back to you. What are your views about this, sir? It is, it is, a minute, a minute, a minute. It is as per, as per the plans. The teams were working for this uh, execution of the Honorable Supreme Court's order. And largely, it is as per the plans. We are going to the site to assess the remnants which are there. What are the three aspects which are going to be checking, sir? I'm asking you a very you know, short answer. Three aspects which will be checking. See, one is uh, if there is any leftover explosive, which could uh, be, become a safety issue. Second is about uh, the debris. And thirdly, about the smog in the area so that the visibility and we need to restore the traffic as quickly as possible. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Mishra Ji. Jali. Mishra Ji. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Also, जो केस की स्थिति है उसके हिसाब से कार्यवाही की जाएगी नई आसपास की सोसाइटीज में कोई डैमेज ब्रॉडली नहीं है लेकिन जैसा मैंने बताया अभी जस्ट ब्लास्ट होके हटा है एक घंटे के एक घंटे के अंदर स्थिति बेहतर पता लगेगी All right, uh, uh, that was, uh, we, we are getting in a word from the police commissioner and also the Noida Authority CEO. All right, I'm told that uh, Alok Singh, the police commissioner, is with me on the broadcast. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for joining us on CNN News 18. A very important task of uh, the implosion of these twin towers that has been come into effect. But now is the big question of the after effect. Can you take us through that, sir? This is too early to comment about it, but let me tell you and reassure you, the implosion has gone as per the plans, the way it was planned by the Edison Engineering. Uh, it's uh, completely as per plan, but still uh, they are assessing at, on the spot, and uh, we will be able to give you an answer uh, for some time. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Singh, one last question. How soon can people uh, be allowed to come back to their respective houses, ones who reside in ATS and uh, in Emerald Court? Seem to have lost that link with Mr. Singh. I'll try and go back to our reporters on ground. Uh, Akash is with me on the broadcast. Uh, Akash, I will try and get a sense from you. 
Now that the authorities are saying that the implosion has gone as per plan, what is the impact on ground is what we are trying to ascertain. Uh, all right, I'm told that I've lost that link with our local. I'll try and get our reporters back on. But uh, let me actually show you through our cameras right here on what we see after the twin towers have not now gone away from the skyline. This is the visual that uh, we are uh, showing to our viewers. Now those twin towers are no longer there in sight. Those twin towers that stood there as one of the tallest structures in the country are not there anymore. Very uh, close to about half an hour ago is when the implosion took place. Uh, all right, I'm told, uh, I'm now joined on the broadcast by Mr. Vikram Singh, former DGP of Uttar Pradesh. Mr. Singh, thank you so much for joining us on the broadcast. We just heard Mr. Alok Singh that the implosion has gone as per plan. However, it is still too early to ascertain on the kind of damages that might just be in the adjacent buildings. Now that the implosion has taken place, the visuals are everywhere. They're splashing every screen at the moment. It was quite a spectacle, but not so much for people who were residing in the societies close by. What will you say after this implosion has taken place? I'm in total agreement with Alok Singh. Yes, the implosion part was flawless. But thereafter, you have to be extremely... I don't say that there is any flaw post-implosion. But yes, the precautions that need to be taken, perhaps the amount of debris that has fallen down almost to the level of the fourth floor, that probably we did not expect that the debris would be as much as this. We were expecting something around uh, maybe uh, 80,000, even plus tons of debris. But this is immensely more, seems to be immensely more in volume. Now the clearing of the debris, the clearing of the air, and the SPM particles may take a little longer. Of course, we, there was a lot of exuberance and there's a lot of anticipation that perhaps the wind velocity would be such so as to clear the air sooner than we had expected. But it is better to keep our fingers crossed, keep our preparations ready, and all the contingency plans have to be in place for the next 48 hours at least, in the sense that the pollution levels, because it remains to be seen, what kind of collateral damage may have been done, it has to be ascertained now. It may take another right. 12 hours to assess. You assert know, I'd like to actually break this very, very good news that is just coming in from Edifice officials. Remember, Edifice was the agency who was responsible for the detonation that has taken place. Now, they have said that there has been no damages to the residential towers in the adjoining Emerald Court after the Supertech demolition. That's some good news, sir. Relief to me because I'm a resident of the Super Tech Emerald Court, and that good news is primarily not only for them but for me individually and personally. Well, God bless it, if it's, and of course, it remains to be seen and examined to what extent other precautions need to be taken in terms of senior citizens, in those in case of those who are ill, and also first aid in respect of those who may have respiratory problems. These are things that need to be addressed. Just at certain glitches, they do happen. Mm -hmm. Such a massive arrangement. There are bound to be last-minute glitches that have to be addressed. Right. Right, Mr.